Okay, so welcome to five day vlogmas. I literally can't believe those words just came out of my mouth. We are starting vlogmas in the last week of December. This wasn't really like a spur of the moment decision. I kind of knew I wanted to do vlogmas, but I knew I couldn't do 30 days of vlogmas or 24 days of vlogmas. <laughs> So here we are. I just wanted to give it like five little days, have a good little time, and then, you know, that's it. Maybe next year we can really come in. It'll probably be like a little bit of a mix of some planty and some cat personal things. Um, you may have noticed that we are back on the iPhone. Woo! I love her. After that little tease last week, I am switching back to the iPhone for a little bit. So I will explain that later. But yes, unfortunately we're back on the iPhone. Now I kind of need to make coffee. Maybe I'll take you along for that. And then I have to work. But I do have to wrap some gifts for a package that I'm gonna send to my family for Christmas. And then I also have to repot some things because apparently I don't know how to stop repotting after the summer. <laughs> I started Vlogmas and I was like, I literally only have to make like 12 minutes of my day exciting. That's really it. And like, I think I can do that. So hold my hand, here's my hand, please hold it. And we're gonna go on a Vlogmas ride, okay? But <laughs> after he's done playing with Jonah, he always comes and sits with me and it's cuddle time, which is usually about five minutes because he has no stamina. He's relaxing. Yeah. <laughs> he he tucks out quickly. <laughs> oh, look at these ears. Look at these ears, huh? So the time has come for me to start packing up my little Christmas presents for my family, so they're all gonna go in one box. I just thought this was like a little Christmassy thing that I could do with you all. We can do like a little gift haul. So if you are anyone in my family, do not watch this part, otherwise your Christmas gifts are gonna be ruined. For my brother, I got this nice little salt cellar. It's like handmade somewhere in Pennsylvania and it's made out of cement and he's like really into cooking so I got him that. Then for my sister I got like she wanted a steering wheel cover like a really dramatic fluffy one so I got her one. She really wanted it. I'll get it for her. And then for my mom, she started a massage company actually this year in the middle of COVID, which is crazy. But I got her cute little bumper stickers to match her little biz. And I got two. I actually got three. I put one on my car and then this is one's for my sister's car and then one's for my mom's car. These gifts are huge. So I think I can use like a smaller box. So like this is the inside of the box. <laughs> 
And now I'm gonna write like a little, I think I'm gonna write like a little Christmas card for them. It's also my sibling's birthday, both of them. So they're gonna get their own like little personalized package. So I think I can just do like a generic family card. That's what I'm gonna go with anyway. Okay, so it wasn't that much of a break for you, but I took a mini break and brought in all of my repotting stuff. So we are finally going to be repotting, which is very exciting. My Diefenbachia Camille died, which is sad because that was like my first plant ever. So this was her pot and I'm going to up-pot my Schifflera Arboricola because I literally have roots coming out of the top. I have roots coming out of the bottom. This just absolutely, and then the new growth is coming in a little funny, so I really just need to bump this up. Uh, first of all, I'm really sorry for the vlog lighting today, but there's a huge snowstorm apparently supposed to hit. That's what we're dealing with. I'm also looking in the wrong spot, sorry. This is a very casual, this is gonna be a very casual five days. There is a huge snowstorm coming, which I don't really like the snow, so I'm not like super excited about it, but since I do think I will be home for the next couple days, I don't really mind. I just hope everybody else can be safe. But that's why the lighting is really bad because it's very gloomy out and all that jazz. Look at these cute little roots, huh? Adorable. Anyway, so first of all, sorry about the light. Oh, it's starting to snow, it's starting. Now the camera. So I did get a camera, as you all know, and I was very excited about it. And honestly, the videos I put out last week, they were nice looking, they looked cute, I won't lie. I put in a lot of effort to make them look cute and I think that they did. And I appreciated everyone's compliments. But I got a Fuji camera. And if you don't know, Fuji is really good with like color for pictures and it's just like an incredible photo camera. That was absolutely not the issue. Like the photos I took with that camera, the thumbnails I think you can tell have been immaculately colored and really clear and as a photo camera, I it was incredible. Very, very, very nice camera. But for video, I was kind of hoping that that incredibleness would come over to the video aspects of things because in my research, it kind of seemed like it would. But unfortunately, that wasn't really the case. I did look really clear in the videos that I posted and that was fine and like the focus was fine. But the real issue was the color. The color is so sensitive to any change. So I really don't have time to deal with that, to be honest with you. I am exchanging it and I'm getting a the Canon EOS M50 that basically every amateur YouTuber has, or not amateur, I'm not really sure. I know that it's a decent camera and a lot of people have it and like it and their footage looks good. So I'm just going with it because I don't have time to color correct every single clip, you know what I mean? So that's kind of the deal why I'm back on the iPhone because I still have the Fuji. I'm trying to sell it now because I can't return it. Yeah. I don't really want to use it and spend so much time like adjusting for every single different lighting situation and I also don't want to use it if I know I'm going to be selling it. I don't really want to risk it. So that's kind of the deal on why I'm back to the iPhone for now. So hopefully that exchange will be happening soon because I really loved having a clear video. It was so nice but unfortunately we're taking a little break. Anyway, so this pot is done. Okay, so now I have this four inch pot and did I see fungus gnats in it? Yes. Am I gonna wash it? No. I'm going to move this Hoya Australis to this four inch. I know that moving Hoya to terracotta is controversial or whatever, but it is what it is. I like it. I don't have problems with it. It's vlogmas. Let's not take it too serious. So right now I had it rooting its bag, and if you watch my videos, you know how much I 
loved rooting this plant in swag. It went so well, the roots look incredible. So now I have to go through the process of picking off the spag from the roots, which is always very intimidating because it's so easy to break roots this way. So I'm probably gonna like fast forward or just jump to the part where I finally have all of the spag off, if I'm being honest with you. Okay, so we are back with de-spagged Hoya cuttings. And this is what it looks like. The roots are absolutely crazy. It's not perfect because I was a little bit lazy and didn't put it under water or anything like that. There's like little tiny bits of sag stuck on maybe like the secondary roots mostly, but that's okay. And most of what you're seeing here is actually root, which is really exciting. I get questions on like how to transfer plants from sphag to soil. And truly you should moisten the sphag off of the roots, very gently pick it off. And then I honestly just like pot it up as normal and I'm gonna keep this pot probably moist for a couple days. The, re the main reason I'm going with terracotta is because these plants are very top heavy, like these cuttings. So the weight of the nursery pot wasn't enough to keep it upright. Like it was constantly falling over. I had to lean it against things. So that's the main reason why I am going with terracotta. Otherwise, I might have just bumped it up in a nursery pot. I'm not really that picky about what I pot my Hoyas in. I love this plant and I've gotten new growth on it too since getting it, which is really cool. All right, and then we have one more. I have a bunch of lichens cuttings that I've kind of talked about recently and I'm saving some for a friend. The rest I think can be potted up. Ta-da! So this is the finished Mikan's little pot and I love it. It's so full already just from cuttings. And while I was potting them up, I saw a lot of these cuttings have little shoots on their way. So I think this pot's gonna fill up really nicely. I'm just gonna water it and it'll be good to go. And I'm so excited, it came out really nice. So did my other plants, they're over there. And I think this is a successful repot despite the terrible lighting, which by the way, it's happening. It's vlogmas. It's really vlogmas. Okay, yeah, so I think that's gonna be it for today's little vlog. I will see you tomorrow for day two of Vlogmas, day two of five. Um, thank you all so much for watching. These are definitely gonna be more casual. Um chill whatever videos so i appreciate you tagging along and i will see you tomorrow bye